Ish, 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 ish. What's up guys, J Pro from Reflex Bag Workouts. I got something special planned for you today and we have no time to waste, so let's jump right in. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I appreciate you. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. It's the best place online to get into fighting shape without breaking the bank or your jaw. So let's get right into it. Today we have a four round beginner level, no equipment boxing workout. Boxers know that there might be no single better activity for boxing development or just getting into boxing shape than shadow boxing. So today I'm going to walk you through a four round workout where you need no equipment at all. And this workout is going to feature elements of all different types of real boxing training. So we're going to practice some boxing technique. We're going to work some strength and some cardio, and uh, we're going to start sweating in these four rounds. So this workout is really great if you're at a beginner level, or maybe you're trying boxing for the first time. I'll run you through the punches, and then we'll jump in, starting with a little stretch in a couple seconds. Just grab your sneakers, have some water nearby, a little bit of space, and then you're good to go. All right. Well, if you've been to the channel before, you know we don't do much around here without stretching and warming up first, always super important. So we're gonna get into a little stretch in 20 seconds. If you enjoy the workout today, don't forget to throw your boy a like, and I would also recommend subscribing to the channel so you don't miss the free weekly workouts that I drop once a week. All different equipment and styles and types of workouts, but most of them you'll be able to apply to whatever it is you're working on. So with that being said, we're gonna jump right into arm circles for 30 seconds going backwards. So nice and easy, we want full extension here. So we're opening up our shoulders, our back, we can switch directions here. Flexibility and boxing go hand in hand. The less knots and tension you have upstairs, easier those punches are gonna be flowing. So now we can go to a little torso twist. I'm pivoting on the balls of my feet. 20 seconds here. We can start to open that up now. So just extending. We're not punching, we're not uh, swinging for the fences here. We're nice and relaxed in our warm up. Okay, so now we'll open up the hips with some leg circles, alternating, so just opening up those hips one at a time. Five seconds here. Okay, next 30 seconds, we're gonna get into a little boxer bounce. So you're just gonna kind of pivot, shifting your weight from your front leg to your back leg, nice and light on the balls of your feet for 30 seconds. Well, 15 seconds now. Okay, last minute of the warm up, we're just gonna go into a freestyle jump rope. So if you have a real jump rope and you wanna grab that, go for it. If not, we're rocking the invisible jump rope. That's the thing I've always loved about boxing is that you're working kind of every component of fitness. We're working cardio, we're building full body strength, and learning boxing technique is just a ton of fun and obviously learning self-defense is super empowering. It builds confidence, it builds balance. I feel like I'm a more patient, better version of myself ever since I started boxing. 15 seconds here. Still jumping rope. Three, two, and one, time. All right, grab a quick sip of water. We're getting ready for round one. 
And while you do that, I'm gonna quickly walk you through the basic six fundamental punches of boxing that we're gonna use in this workout that I use in all of my workouts. So you can go ahead and first line up in a boxing stance. So the stance is pretty easy. You're getting into a side profile with your dominant hand and foot in the back. For me, I'm a righty. My right arm, my right leg are gonna be in the back. My left leg is gonna be in front. Both of my feet are really at a 45 degree angle. And then I'm gonna take my back leg and bring it just a couple inches up so that I'm on train tracks and not a balance beam. I don't wanna be on a straight line. I wanna be on train tracks and my weight is nice and light on the balls of my feet. So first we have the one, that's the lead straight. One of the simplest but most important moves of boxing. You're just turning over that lead hand in a straight line and bring it right back into your chin. Then we have the two. So now on the two and everything up, we're gonna put a little bit more of a pivot and we're gonna use our hips a little bit more to power the punch. So the two is that rear straight. I'm pivoting my back foot, fully extending, and then bringing my hand right back into my chin. We have three, which is the lead hook. Elbow's gonna go up at a 90 degree angle, wrist turns out, pivot your lead foot, and rotate your torso to drive that hook across. Then we have the four, that's the rear hook. Five is gonna be the lead uppercut, hinging the hips and coming from underneath. Six is gonna be the rear uppercut, and that's it. So you've got the one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's the basics, that'll be enough to get you started. I do have a more comprehensive breakdown in the channel, so circle back if you wanna spend a little bit more time on those. Otherwise, we're gonna jump into round one of this four round workout in 10 seconds. Okay, so we should be feeling nice and warm, nice and relaxed, we have a little bit of space. It's always good to shadow box in front of a mirror so you can watch your technique and it also feels kind of what it's like to be boxing an opponent. And we're gonna jump in for the first 30 seconds. We're just gonna work that jab, the one. So what we're gonna do, starting now, is we're just gonna start nice and easy, throwing that one and moving around our space a little bit. Remember to breathe for every punch. You want a short, crisp exhale. It helps to make a noise. I always say the weirder, the better. And nice and easy in the first round. We're not going crazy here. We're just working that one with a little bit of footwork in between. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch over and work the two for 30 seconds. And notice I'm not standing here going like this. I'm also practicing my footwork so I can stay balanced. Two, just working that rear straight. It's much better to start slower and get comfortable with the form than to just jump in and start throwing bombs. So take your time. We're just working that too. Hish. Hish. Okay, now for one minute, we're gonna work a combination. Our first combo, it's gonna be a one, two, one, two. So I'm gonna throw that one, two, one, two, and then a little bit of footwork in between. Now, as I'm doing footwork, I wanna stay nice and balanced. So the direction that I'm moving is the foot that moves first. One, two, one, two. Don't forget those hands always come right back to your chin. You always have to protect the house. The head is the house. If one hand leaves the house, the other hand is there to protect the house. 20 seconds here of that one, two, one, two. And if you want, you can kind of change directions. Right, so you can circle around your space, so you're throwing at different angles. Six seconds here, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Okay, last minute, we're gonna go back to that jump rope. You'll notice for all these workouts, we're always gonna be mixing in different exercises. So it's just a well-rounded, fitness experience. We're practicing boxing, we're building cardio and strength. Nice and light on the balls of your feet. Go at your own pace. If this is your first time moving around in a while, you go at your own pace. It's better to just slow down if you have to. 
than to stop and do this. 25 seconds. Last 10 seconds. Hang in there, hang in there. Three, two, and time. Nicely done. You just got through round one of this four round no equipment boxing workout. Grab a sip of water. We jump into round two in one minute. Okay, all right. How are we feeling? We got through round one. We got three rounds to go. We're still just practicing that technique. And remember, if everything feels super weird and super uncomfortable, you're a first time boxer, that's a sign that you're going about things the right way. Anytime you're introducing your body to new movements, new technique, it's all gonna feel a little weird. Obviously, it's gonna get better and more natural with practice. So going into round two, we're gonna open the round just working that three for 30 seconds. We're gonna move around and work that three. Then we're gonna switch over and work that four. Then we're gonna go to squats for 30 seconds. We're gonna put those two together and we're gonna work a three, four, and then for a minute, we're gonna put all four punches together and work a one, two, three, four. You don't have to memorize that. I'm gonna be doing it alongside you. I'll keep you updated along the way. So let's start moving. And we're gonna throw that three. So we throw that three. If you wanna double up on it, you can. Three. Three. Good, we're here for 20 seconds. Three, chin is tucked. With that lead foot, think about it like you're squishing a bug. You're pivoting so that you're putting your whole body weight into the punch. Now we're gonna switch it over and we're gonna work that four for 30 seconds. Four, a little bend at the knees, rotating that torso. It's round two, so you can start to put a little bit more energy in there. Working that four. Very nice, 10 seconds here. And if it feels weird, you just slow it down. Elbow up, wrist out, rotate across. Okay, now for 30 seconds, we're gonna go to squats. So our feet are gonna be a little bit wider than shoulder length apart. And we just sit straight back, almost as if we were just sitting in an, an invisible chair. So we want our knees to stay behind our foot. And we're here for 15 seconds. We should definitely start to feel it now a little bit in our legs. Boxing, strength training. Okay, so now we're gonna work a three, four combination. So we'll move around, throw that three, and then that four, and then keep moving again. If you're in front of a mirror, make sure you're aiming head level. Three, four. Hush, hush. Three, four. All right, that's looking good. Five seconds here. One more. Three, four. Okay, shake it out for one minute. We're gonna work a one, two, three, four combination. One, two, three, four. So we want nice, full extension on that one, two, and then the three, four behind it. Also keep in mind, depending on what your goals are, then it depends on how much you're really gonna wanna pay attention to form. If you really wanna learn boxing, you're always gonna wanna keep your chin tucked. You wanna make sure that your hands are nice and high at all times. But if you just wanna get into shape, get into fighting shape, be loose and relaxed. That's the most important thing, right? So whatever your goals are, no one else can tell you what your goals are but you. Last three seconds, how about one more good one? Ish, 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 ish. And time. Nicely done, we're halfway through. Grab a sip of water, we jump into round three in one minute. All right, so that's it. We're halfway through this workout. Gotta love boxing. You can really get an amazing workout in as little as 20 minutes, four rounds. So let's up the volume. Let's put a little bit more energy in in the second half. We're gonna open up this round with a flow one, two. 
Some coaches call this a coast. I call it a flow. A flow is your continuous planted pace. So the combination, we're throwing nice and sharp and then we're moving in between. The flow pace, we're not moving and it's a continuous pace. So I'm throwing nice and light. Boxers do this to condition their shoulders, to practice their range. You'll see boxers doing this on the heavy bag all the time. So it's our nice, light pace. Then we're gonna drop down and go into a low plank for 30 seconds. We're gonna go back to that one, two, three, four combination. And then we're gonna end the minute with a freestyle flow. So you'll have a little bit of a chance to improvise and throw whatever it is you want. So let's go ahead and let's open up with that flow. One, two, for 30 seconds. This is our nice, sustainable pace. So to give you an idea, you should be able to do this flow for the entire three minute round if you had to. So that's the idea. So if that means you wanna slow it down, you slow it down. It's a nice, easy pace, really great to condition those shoulders. Okay, now we're gonna drop down right into a low plank. So my elbows are just about underneath my shoulders. My back is flat and I'm squeezing my core here. Just don't forget to breathe. 15 seconds. Hang in there, I know. I feel it too. And up. All right. So now we're gonna go back to that one, two, three, four combination. Now everyone's gonna tell you something different as far as how you should throw punches in boxing. But I tend to believe speed over power. So instead of woof, woof, instead of trying to throw these power shots, it's about speed and fluidity of movement. Nice and relaxed. One, two, three, four. I have a lot of people that I work with, the private training, and, and people are really green and at the beginner level. Everyone loves getting on the heavy bag and throwing bombs and feeling like a champion. But in real boxing, it's not that easy to throw power shots because your opponent is moving around. So I'm speed over power. That's my school of thinking. Now, last minute of the round, we're gonna end with a freestyle. So whatever you want, move around your space and throw your punches together anywhere from one to four at a time. We don't wanna just stand and go crazy like this. We wanna move around. One, two. Go back to that one, two, three, four if you want. Whatever you want. Work that nice long range on those straights. If you're in the mirror, work some head movement, some slips, some rolls. All right, stay with me. 15 seconds. Ish, ish, ish. Ish, ish, ish. Ish, ish, ish. Ish, 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 ish. Ish. And time. Nicely done. I'm definitely sweating. Hopefully you're feeling good. Because we're going into the last round, that's it. We're going into the fourth and final round. Short work, but we're making it count. Grab a sip of water and we'll jump in in one minute. All right, this is it. The championship round. And once you get through this one, don't forget the only thing you have to do afterwards is you walk right up to that mirror and you go on and flex on them because you get that fighter champion energy. Remember, being a fighter is a state of mind. We're all a fighter. We all got different things that we're fighting through every single day. So going into round four, we're gonna finish strong. We're gonna open up with that flow, one, two, for 30 seconds, nice and light. Then we're gonna go back to squats for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna work the two combinations we hit today, which is the one, two, one, two, and then the one, two, three, four. And then in the minute, we're gonna go into a little drill that I call call outs. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna move around and we're gonna finish strong. So don't forget to flex. I'm gonna hold you accountable to that. All right. 
So let's go ahead and let's get right into that flow. One, two, it's the last three minutes of the day. Our flow is our nice and light. And by the way, I know it's a little late to make this announcement, but if you're part of my usual reflex bag crew, obviously you can do this workout with the reflex bag, but I would encourage you to mix in some shadow boxing too. Just to mix it up, to help you with your balance, it's gonna make your reflex bag training easier. Always good to di diversify. 30 seconds, we're going back to the squats. Shoulder width apart, and then we just sit straight back. So you should really feel that. Your quads, your glutes. Can be nice and explosive with that movement as you come up. Five seconds here. Hang tight, I know those legs are burning at the end of this workout. Okay, 30 seconds. We're gonna go back to that one, two, one, two. And remember, it's a combination pace, so a little bit of footwork in between. One, two, one, two. Don't forget to breathe. That's another thing. A lot of people come into my gym, they're shy, they don't wanna breathe loud. It's just breathe, just breathe. It makes everything better in life, in boxing. Ish, 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 ish. I have a little uh, nine-year-old I work with, Max. His breathing sounds like this. <laughs> so whatever works for you, let it out. Okay, now we're gonna go to that one, two, three, four for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four. Anytime it's a combination, the power punch is typically gonna come at the end. So if you do wanna drive a little power, do that one, two, three nice and fast, and then you can put a little bit more on that four at the end. Now, last minute of the round, we're gonna end with a freestyle. Stop, kid. 